Hello everyone, welcome back, Smotos here, and now in this video, let's talk about vassalization in Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign, and why vassalization is so important, and it's, I think, the second way to gain very huge amount of money as an income. So, there are two ways of making a state vassal. So, as my uh, empire has grown up, and becomes larger and larger at some point the expenses are very very high so instead of conquering other uh, regions i made them vassals so look of them these with the pattern with the line patterns are my v vassals and here in this uh, small tab you can see all my vessel states that are paying me tribute so in my treasury my income is 957 only from vassal tributes this is somehow fluctuating depending on the each uh vassal state e economy so this represents a very important income in my treasury so now let's talk about how you can um, a state vassal okay and making him or the king of that state to paying you a tribute there are two ways one using the spy and second using the war the easiest way we're gonna talk is uh making war with them or declaring war if you are enough uh if you're a huge kingdom with many and you represent a high threat they will want to sign a peace treaty with you and to do it so i don't know if i can now okay let's try with marines because i'm at war with them i will open the audience i want to sign a peace treaty and and i will demand some tributes and first here i will uh I will check the vassalization. So, if I propose them, maybe, and I will, uh, I will check also release the prisoner because I have a knight in their dungeon. So, I will propose, and maybe they will accept. And yes, they accepted, and they are our vassals. So now they are paying us, or me, are paying a tribute. And the amount of tribute it's, let's say, Marinids will pay us, or me, 135.3 golds. It's the last one in the list. And this is a very, very good amount of money. And this is by, uh, now the Marinids are, you know, because are my vessels, they are with, uh, how should I tweet, some pa oblique pattern lines. Now, this is the hard way so uh making war with them or um fighting with them but there is also a better way the peaceful way using the spice and how Do you feel the cold well actually death? here you uh, you should insert infiltrate your spy in a larger kingdom larger enough to have more than two or three provinces the larger the better because at some point maybe uh you're uh, bribing the right person in my case a noble which is in the court and we can use the back governor independence and with this thing we can conv convince marshal Malikash to form a new kingdom kingdom in Samara. Well, actually, here is the secret. The new kingdom, the newborn kingdom, will be automatically my vessel. Because my spy has making all the arrangements for this. So, let's uh, save the game. And let's try to use the chance of success is 100 percent this is due to the fact that my um, spy is very well skilled so back governor independence and this will be in kazan so it will be in this part of uh here and where i don't know where is samara 
in Samara. Okay, let's see. Spy can kill a king's spy. Back governor independence. And let's see on the map. I will click this. Rush a little bit. And yes, look, Samara now spy succeeded today is a fateful day for marshal melikash who managed to separate samara from the clutches of her kingdom her relation with samara 500 well actually here comes the 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 big deal okay now samara is my vessel what what does this mean is is that they are paying me a tribute it's only six by 0.6 gold and this because it's a very small region not like the marinids where is an entire huge empire now at some point take this in account they will want to claim independence so many of the vassal states they want to become independent so at some point they will request this well actually uh, ignoring or rejecting their uh, offer will lead to a war between your uh, kingdom and theirs. But you can manage this by some audience and offer them some gold or non-aggression pacts or support the wars or become allies. Not in my case because I'm in a very good relation with them i have a relation 60 650 but it's dropping well what i can do is now release their or helping to release their their king actually first thing is i'm gonna insert and intrude a spy in some new samara court and i'm gonna wait because at some point there will be more uh opportunities and one of the opportunities and it's very important it's to attach the kingdom of the new kingdom of samara to your empire and this is gonna can be done also with the help of the spy but this will be an opportunity and it's not very very often but at some point this can be triggered by the game so take this in account because vassalization it's more efficient in at some points in some ways than conquering the entire uh the entire region thank you very much for watching and this was just like a little tutorial on how to manage on how to play smart in this game Thank you very much for watching. Here's Motos. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't. And we'll see you next time in another video. Bye-bye.